back, everybody, to NWE Halloween Hell. Now, Jeff, during the break, Super Agent Reginald Birch Jr. introducing his newest client, Levis. Let me tell you, Reginald Birch Jr. has been traveling the world looking for the biggest, the baddest monsters to bring in because he wants championship gold in his hands. And he knows the way to do that is to bring in the toughest people from around the world to take that championship from El Fuego Drive. I don't know who this this person is, but look at the, the physicality. Look at the, the body on this guy. This guy is a monster. Did you ever doubt Reginald Birch Jr.? He said he was going to bring in a monster. He brought in a big monster. You can definitely tell that uh, Birch really wants championship gold. I mean, to hire a guy like this, this I don't, I don't know, mercenary, for lack of a better word. I guess, I guess he's now an official client looking, joining you know his stable of competitors, and he will have the chance to win title is El Fuego Dragon will be defending and he is on his way out. You know what? Levis has a massive size advantage here. I can't imagine El Fuego Dragon even stands a chance in this match. El Fuego Dragon definitely the underdog as far as size goes in most situations. Speaking of size, in the past few weeks, El Fuego Dragon being ransacked, being attacked by, by, this, by this mystery man, this beast of a man who comes out, decimates him, and leaves him there. I mean, you, you've got to think... You know, is, is, is Birch behind this? Or is this guy acting on his own accord? What is going on? El Fuego can't catch a break. You know what? When you're the champion, you're going to expect people going to attack you. And El Fuego Dragon clearly is on the radar of, well, you say this mystery man, this unknown entity? <laughs> I wouldn't say that. We're talking about Jeff Woody. You? you know something I don't? Do you know something about this, who this guy is? Nelson, I could count the amount of things that I know that you don't, and I'd spend the rest of my life counting up numbers. Uh, See it as it may into the match. And there we go. Levis jumping. El Fuego Dragon Party gets his, his, uh, his, his cloak off. And his, the title is still in the ring. This Levis needs business. He wants the belt. He's going to take any shortcut he can. Levis has the, that killer instinct right now. He's holding the belt there. This is a foreshadowing of what's going to happen in this match, Nelson. Fuego Dragon in the corner of the match. I, I don't, I, I'm not sure if I heard the bell ring, but this is for the title. You gotta think that Levis, I mean, for him to win the title in his debut match, that was a shockwave for the locker room. Well, I mean, by saying that, you, you sound like you're doubting Reginald Burks Jr.'s scouting ability. When he brings somebody in, he brings in a top-level competitor. Fuego uh, Dragon with the quick pull the ring rope there. Levis tumbles to the outside. Fuego uh, Dragon hopefully he can at least recover from that, from that early sneak attack. And the guy's basically dropping to the outside. He's only delayed, delayed the inevitable beating, Nelson. Fuego Dragon going up to the top rope. He is one of the... Highest of flyers here in NWE taking down with a flying crossbody. Oh, that's a nice pulling to the ring here. Levis. Now looks like he's slow to recover here, but no. Oh, could have been playing a little possum there with a big knee look right to the head. Size advantage on display right there, Nelson. He just barely had to lift his leg and he was able to knee him right in the face. Ari has a little modified Copa clutch there, but just squeezing the leg with Ofuego Dragon, I mean, you gotta wonder if Ofuego was even prepared for this matchup, I mean, none of us even knew that Levis was a client of uh, original Birch Jr. Well, you know what, I don't want to discredit Ofuego Dragon too much, I'm sure as a champion he's prepared for this match, I don't know if he was prepared for somebody the size of Levis. Yeah, big, bloody blood in the back. Ofuego Dragon just, with all kinds of agony on Levis. That weight, there's that side, just crushing his throat off the rope there. <laughs> and there you see Reginald Birch Jr. kind of sending a message to El Fuego Dragon. That he just, oh, come on, Ram, come on, Ram, turn around. Sending a second message. When you're out there against Birch's clients, you're definitely, it's definitely a two-on-one situation no matter what. Two-on-one situation. I, I don't know what you're talking about. Reginald Birch Jr. just simply had a little bit of advice for the champion and shared it with him. That's all. Oh, come on, come on. Uh, Irish was in the corner here. Levis, it's a boot in the corner. Fuego Dragon showing some good ring awareness there. Another boot stunning him. Let's see what he can do with this. It takes a lot of hits to knock down something like Levis. Oh, yeah. backbreaker. You should have probably tried to hit him a few more times before you move in. Let's go. 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 let us you just make it so he can't fly, and if he's wearing a mask, you can make it so he can't see. Oh, 
shot right in the bread basket. So watch the location. They're at two. A little slow on that count. Again, I question the referees tonight. This count's a little slow. Echo by O'Brien goes into all sorts of trouble. I think the fact that he basically takes a mystery opponent that will throw him off his game job. But as a champion, you need to be ready for all competitors. You can't just sit back and say, oh, I'll face this guy, I like facing him. You've got to be ready for people to be coming out of the woodwork to challenge this champion. He's dropped in the back of the head. Now he's going for the second rope. He's picking dangerous. Oh, misses. Drives his fist into the canvas. That is not a soft landing. That's how Clay will blow up a little bit of momentum here. He's pulling some of his high flying maneuvers here. He's in the arsenal. Pulls line. Wheelbarrow. He's a beautiful bulldog. What a counter. One, two, and only a one and a half count. Leva's showing some great toughness there. That's, that's just a testament to his strength and conditioning. A man that size would have to use a lot more to take him out. Drop kick to the stomach there, setting him up. Corner. Flip. Counter. Or blocks the blow. See who's coming here. Up on the second rope. Again, give him a little push up, create a little space. This will drop kick off the second. Got something, not all of it, two. And again, in a situation like that, with a man the size of Levis, you need to be hooking both legs. Levis is still showing a lot of fight in him. Well, you can see Alplego going to a lot of his uh, high flying offense there, trying to keep the big man discombobulated and keep him off balance. My question is Nelson. Up the top. Oh! Cross body, two. Justin, I think he might have been going for almost a fence press, but just into a cross body. Good, good last minute call there. Nice last minute switch from Alpengo Brandon. It's only a matter of time before he just gets up. Right now he's got Reginald Burch Jr. on the outside. Reginald's giving him advice. Reginald knows what it takes to make a champion. Sam setting up for the finish. Into the corner. Levis. Scoop. Hitchy. No good driver. One. Two. And with the kick out. Taka Mishinoku would be impressed if he wasn't scared of Levis. Driving him in the upper shoulders of the neck area. Great power move from Levis, but cannot put El Fuego away. And again, El Fuego Dragon appealing to these fans, each and every one of those idiots. What do they think they're going to do for him? He's going to focus on Levis. He's going to take him down. He's going to win the match, and those fans are not going to be able to help him. He's definitely trying to gather some strength from the cheers of the crowd here. El Fuego, though, in all sorts of trouble. Stalking his prey, taking all the time in the world. Just a matter of time, Nelson. Just a matter of time. We're here to complete this. You don't want to get caught in this avalanche here. Spears the corner buckle. A flago. Looks like he's setting him up for something. Oh, oh no. Oh no, not again. <laughs> setting him up for the finish again. Hits it. The ref is leaving. The ref is gone after hearing that, that oh, wait. music. Wait, there he is. There he is. No, not this man again. Who is this guy? What does he have against a Fuego Dragon? Oh, Mesa Dragon, Fuego finally gets some licks in. Get him, champ. Get him. Mr. Man, pop up. And then drop in a counter. I don't think things are going exactly the way he wants it. It's barely phasing him, Nelson. He's going off the top. He's stunned. He should be running. Oh, catches him up the crossbody. <laughs> Plants him with a swinging Uranagi. Oh, my God. Just <laughs> crushes him. <laughs> Once again, Nelson, a Wizard Dragon made the mistake of not expecting people to come out of the woodwork. I told you earlier he was a targeted man. And again, this whoever this man is has made it clear that he wants the elite title. Who is he? Who is this man? Well, I'll tell you who this man is. His name is Valhallis. And he is making it clear, and I'll tell you right now, he wants that elite championship. Oh my goodness, Val Hallis, Vindictus, crushing El Fuego Dragon again. I can't believe it. What will El Fuego Dragon do? Stay tuned, folks. We're more action coming up on NWE Halloween Hell.